Hello, you're watching The Market Bull. I'm Sarah Powell and joining me from Power Metal Resources is CEO Sean Wade. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Sarah. Morning. First of all, congratulations, of course, on the latest news that uh, we're seeing strategic financing and a proposed uranium-focused joint venture. Can you start by talking us through the key points from this and explain why it's so significant for shareholders? Absolutely. Well, as you uh, you just pointed out, there's there's actually sort of two things really here to, to talk about. So one is the, the the loan notes, and the other is the proposed joint venture. So just in terms of the of the announcement, the, so the loan notes is it's two million pounds, um, and it's an investment by um, by ACAM, um, and that the, the terms are all uh, I think in the RNS, so that's that's sort of quite straightforward. So you know that's partly being used to. Um, to unwind the UEE transaction, which obviously has, in, has incurred some costs, um, and also just for for the sort of general corporate purposes. So, so that's the bit that's that's as it were already done. Um, so that you know that the subscription has been signed. Now, but separately, and the and the bigger piece of news really is the proposed joint venture between us and 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 ACAM in respect to the uranium portfolio. So, just give them a little bit of background on that. I mean, I think everybody knows. You know, we had been marketing um, a proposed IPO. Um, with a potential partial spin out of some of our uranium assets into the UEE vehicle. Um, and as part of the, the marketing process uh, for that, we went to, to see um, to see ACAM and, and talk to them about it. Um, now, what we, the conversation then sort of turned into a one about, a, you know, potentially a bigger deal. So what about the whole portfolio? What about, you know, doing a, a joint venture uh, for that? And that, of course, and that's what's transpired. So we announced on the 24th of March that we were in various just strategic discussions, and obviously this was this was obviously one of them. Um, and you know the, the the borders obviously looked at this and felt that this is the better option for power metal shareholders, um, and releases very significant value uh, from from that portfolio. So, just to sort of explain the significance of, of, of that point, and I think there's a um, you know perhaps it's not easy to necessarily decode this. This RNS in to, to work out exactly what what the value is. So putting it in very simple terms, okay, um, we've got um, we, we have obviously a, a package of uranium licenses, and let's say you know let's call that ten million pounds of value, okay. ACAM have got ten million pounds of cash which they're prepared to invest into this joint venture. So that gives you an overall valuation for this this proposed new company, if you like, of of twenty million post money. Now. ACAM want 70% um, and we will have 30%. So on the face of it, that values our portfolio at £6 million. However, we've brought into this a £10 million portfolio. So yes, the, there's an extra £4 million. Now that comes further down the road. So that's a deferred payment. But it's important that people look at both those components when they're looking at the, at the valuation here. The £4 million will come when essentially this business has made a return for ACAM um, of a certain amount, which we which we obviously have a contractual proposal for, um, you know, that'll be part of the final documentation. But essentially, it's a deferred payment which says, look, if this works and we make money, then we will pay you the, as it were, the balance uh, of the transaction. So the way the way I look at this is that this is a ten million pound valuation for. Uh, portfolio of uranium licenses, um, which is a very significant return on what we have spent on it. So um, that shows the you know the model working, um, and I think you mentioned that you know the the, the spin out model that you know that's this is what we do. You know we've added a lot of value to that portfolio through the fieldwork we did over the previous season, um, and that's created some drill targets and some you know some very good information. People, I mean, we've already talked a lot about Perch River, for example, and the helium anomaly there. So we've put together a really interesting package of licenses. ACAM, are, you know, we're a very experienced natural resource investor. They want to invest in uranium exploration. Uranium exploration obviously has a lot of upside. Um, and, you know, we, we've, we've come together on that basis. So um, it's very significant for, for investors. For our investors, they, have a, you, they still have a 30% interest in what is now, I would say, significantly more likely to make a commercial discovery simply because a lot of cash is being deployed into it. You know, we've talked about five potentially very high impact drilling programs, pretty much, you know, getting going straight away. Um, and your chances of a commercial discovery are now significantly enhanced over, um, you know, 
what we could have achieved really with the the, the capital that we have and, and are able to get from, from the market. Well, thank you, Sean. Thanks for breaking all that down. It's certainly uh, very encouraging and uh, great to see, as you say, further demonstration of the, the power model. Um, you've touched on some of the, uh, the structure of the deal. Can you give us an idea as to what the expected time frame is for being able to complete this transaction so that shareholders can really begin to see their value being crystallised? Yeah. Um, so what we've what we've said in the in the announcement is that we're now in an eight week exclusivity period, um, which obviously means that we you know we're committed to doing this deal with with ACAM, um, and um, we we're very confident that we're going to be able to get it over the line. Um, you know during that time, this is this is obviously going to involve you know drawing up the legal documentation for the SPV. Uh, you know and the, the, sorry the, the joint venture. I mean. Um, and you know, deciding on you know management responsibilities, board roles, all that kind of thing. Um, so you know, I, and I think we're and we're we're very committed to doing this. Obviously, we're we're very confident that that's going to get done. You know, in pretty pretty sharpish because what we all want, obviously, is to get on the ground and start exploring, start drilling. That's the real purpose of this, obviously. Um, so you know, this is just a, a series of legal processes that obviously we have to go through. Um, and I'm very confident that uh, that we're going to we're going to get there now. You know, obviously, with all these things, there's no 100% guarantees. We can't say that, um, but there is very clear intention by both parties to execute this as quickly as possible, and uh, and get on the ground and and, and start uh, start exploring. Absolutely. And on that point, Sean, are you able to give us any further information as to when you might be able to um, expect to see cash actually deployed into those drilling programs? Well, I mean, we're we're in the, I, I, I guess you know, where are we now? Beginning of June. It's I mean, you know, you've got uh, the window is open now in Canada for for exploration. I mean, obviously you have the you tend to have the wildfire season, which can be obviously extremely disruptive. Um, but it is our intention to get on the ground as as quickly as we can, um, and uh, you know, and get working. So, you know, with 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 no sort of absolute guarantees, but um, you know, we do hope to be generating a lot of news um, this this year in this this current season. Um, but we will be able to update more as we uh, as we seek to finalise the transaction on exactly when um, the teams will be going in. But you know, it is intended to be as soon as possible. Thank you. It's been really interesting to uh, to talk through that news. And finally, Sean, Power is obviously well known for having multiple work streams live across its portfolio. And um, in terms of the the wider portfolio, what news can investors expect over the next few months? There's lots going on um, as ever. We're um, I mean, we're marketing several things at the moment. FDR, as you know, um, you know, is uh, is is a very important uh, focus for us to be able to monetize that that collection of assets, and we're working on that at the moment. Um, the GSA acquisition that we've recently announced the completion of, um, there will be a lot more to say on that. Um, in respect, we hope to signing contracts and and getting started on on meaningful um, revenue um, based work there. Um, Power Arabia, we've talked about it. also, um, we're in the process of um, trying to raise some money, but also to um, get started on the ground. And we've already started that, the, the deal we've done with uh, with RUAC and EV Metals. Um, the work is already underway, the people are on the ground. So we'll be talking hopefully about more contracts signed for exploration in that region, um, and as well as the financing plans that go alongside that. So just those those few things, but there's always other things in, in the portfolio. Was, People know we've, um, we're, we're trying to execute a, a transaction with Red Rock Resources. Um, we've just done one in respect to New Horizon Metals, um, and you know we're, we're always always having conversations, you know, across the portfolio. Obviously, we're waiting for the assay results from Malopo. Um, we'll be updating on the progress at Tati as well, um, and so I think you know we have had a quiet period. Really, we've been had our heads down rather you know to getting this particular deal done. Uh, or, or you know the beginnings of this deal obviously um but i think there will be lots of news coming uh coming up and i think it's going to be a very busy summer fantastic well thank you sean for such a comprehensive update we'll certainly look forward to hearing more of that news uh next time wonderful thanks very much sarah thanks for having thank me thank you